Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we are flying the Interstate 5 Bush Trip by Perfect Flight. Uh, <clears throat> so today, uh, we are on leg four. Uh, this will put us halfway through California, which is part three, which is Ashland Parker to Brown Field uh, for the whole part three. So uh, today it's uh, about 92 nautical miles, almost 93 nautical miles uh, down to Mendota uh, Airport. So uh, once I uh, get into the cockpit and get ready to fly, I will see you there when we're ready to go. Okay, I am ready to take off. We are going to be flying at 2,000 foot uh, elevation today. Uh, going to be flying over mostly all farmlands. And this is going to be more of a scenic. So basically, I won't be saying too much. Uh, I'll point out the pictures as I have the last few times. And that's about it. There's really, I really don't know much about this area. But I do know when we take off here, we are heading north or somewhat north. So we're going to have to swing back around to pick up the GPS. And she'll probably start talking uh, before I get uh, completely turned around. So she's going to be talking about Oakwood Lake. And uh, you'll have to just kind of watch down below uh, for the narration. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. And lift off. All right. So let's just start swinging around. And once I get swung around, I will uh, click on the GPS. Okay, I'm going to hop outside the cabin and let's kind of enjoy the flight. As always, uh, we've got I-5 below us and that should be uh, coming up right over here pretty close, I think. Well, you'll spot it. It's, it'll be below us. You'll see the four or the uh, four-lane highway uh, heading heading south. So, all right, enjoy the flight. And coming up here is our first uh, checkpoint. Our, uh, there's that little lake right there and these lakes right there. That's that lake right there. And we're just getting ready to cross the canal right, right here. Pass Skydive California Airport and fly over Vernalis Plant. Yeah, she didn't have too much to say here. So uh, again, uh, I'll point out when uh, we get down to Vernalis.
right, we are just about here to Vernellis. This patch right here is this patch right here. You can see the canal kind of going around. And then there's that bright green patch, which is that green patch right back off over there. So I believe we should be turning as we approach over this overpass, which is really kind of the uh, interstate right there. slightly to the left and skirts the mountain ranges along which I-5 flows out to Patterson. Patterson is located in the eastern part of Stanislaus County with a population of approximately 22,000 people. It is known for its agricultural industry, particularly its almond production. The city is also home to several parks and recreational areas. Patterson hosts the Patterson Apricot Fiesta, an annual event that celebrates the city's apricot harvest. This picture right here is, as a matter of fact, this building right here is this building. And this is this big uh, field right here that uh, skirts along the canal. And that's that field right there. And that's that long building right there. So you should be coming up talking about Newman here pretty quick. the closed NASA Crow Landing Airport to reach Newman in Stanislaus County. The city is situated in the Central Valley region of California and is surrounded by agricultural lands and natural scenery. The city has a population of around 11,000 people and is known for its small town charm and friendly community. This uh, area right here, that's that group of buildings right there. Uh, this uh, white looking patch or field is that right there. The darker one is right there. So that's our uh, next checkpoint coming up. And we should be uh, turning here in just a couple of seconds. About 12 miles skirts the reservoir O'Neill Four Bay. This man made lake is situated in the San Luis Reservoir State Recreation Area and serves as a forebay to the much larger San Luis Reservoir. 
The lake is open to the public year-round with the summer months being the busiest. Visitors can expect to pay a small entrance fee and can rent equipment such as boats and kayaks from local vendors. Okay, so here is the lake. This is uh, Four Bay, O'Neill Four Bay. There's the lake in the background. That's that lake there. And here is the set of canals right here. And you can see the uh, dam that was built to create the, the lake. And so that dam runs along there and along here. And it looks like it narrows down into a spillway right there. along the plain and reach Hamburg Farms, located in Merced County. I guess not a lot to say about uh, Hamburg Farms. to reach our next stop. Turn left toward the interior of the plane following the river that will take you to Benito. Benito is a small city located in San Benito County. It has a population of around 4,000 people and is known for its historic downtown area and its proximity to Pinnacles National Park. The city is also home to several vineyards and wineries, making it a popular destination for wine lovers. Well, I guess I missed that uh, one right there. I was kind of watching for it, and that one was kind of a hard, hard one to pick up. We'll uh, catch up with this one right here, though.
So our uh, picture is coming up right here. That should be this spot right in here. And we need to start getting ready to land at the airport. So I'm going to start slowing this thing down. And I'm going to let you follow her narration down below as <clears throat> I uh, get ready to start uh, getting things set. I'm going to head inside here. And our airport should be right up and over here. So, Prepare uh, to land at Mendota Airport. Mendota is a public use airport and has one runway designated 1533rds with a concrete surface measuring 3,486 feet. It serves as a general aviation facility and is home to several small aircraft. The airport is owned and operated by the city of Mendota and is open to the public 24 hours a day. The airport offers basic services such as fueling and tie downs, and there are no commercial passenger services available. And our airport uh, should be, we should see the runway. That's not it there. I think the runway should be right up and in here, right along there, I think is where the runway's at. So that's what we're going to get lined up on. And it should be a pretty straightforward landing. We're going to land on 1533rds. I'm not sure if uh, that narration is done by AI or, or not, but there are some speech issues or things that uh, she says that doesn't uh, correspond to aviation. Yeah, I can see our runway right uh, up there. It's uh, just beyond the dark patch that uh, right right there is our runway so certainly the uh, landscape down here in California is flat one of the things I've I know that uh, uh, the, the Bing maps I'm not a big fan of them but uh, they have uh, for the most part within 95-98% accuracy I think of the land mass so we're looking at a pretty pretty fair representation of California as we're flying down through here and uh, this is uh, halfway through this will put us halfway through California with only four legs left after this I hope uh, hope you all are enjoying the uh, the flights. I know I have been. Uh, it's just kind of interesting to see the countryside, uh, knowing that uh, I'll never uh, get a chance to really see it. All right. I guess I better pay attention to what I'm doing here. Here we go. Oh, that was that was terrible. But we're down on the ground. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking too much. We stalled it just as we landed, and that's not a good thing. But we're down on the ground. And again, the way this thing turns on a dime, I got to start turning right here just to uh, make this uh, taxiway and so that we're not going to run into anything else. So let's uh, motor right on in. And I think they want me to park over right over here. Uh, we'll just kind of cruise right on over. And we're just going to stop it right here. There we go. There we go. Leg complete. 37 minutes. Well, I hope uh, hope you all enjoyed the flight. 
I've been enjoying these flights. It's just, as I was saying, it's interesting to see the countryside and see what everything looks like. Uh, I've been putting it on clear skies just so we can see the countryside and not using the live weather that they have set up for it. All right. If you uh, like this uh, video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. And ring that bell. It'll let you know when I have uh, uploaded and scheduled new videos. And I do that for a weekly basis. Okay, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. Not quite like what I just did today. And um, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.